welcome to the show. I'm such a fan. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I love this. Can I just tell you something? I just, I, I recent, very recently saw a really wonderful clip of you and the late and absolutely great Olivia Newton-John. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She's such an icon in Australia, and I just adore her. And you were singing the one that I want from Greece, which is basically my childhood fantasy that you got to live. <laughs> that was so. totally impromptu, by the way. It was not planned. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, Olivia Newton-John was on the show, and uh, we were going to commercial break or something, and yeah. the Roots just started playing it, and, and she grabbed the mic, and just as a pro would do, she just started singing i was like oh my gosh i have to duet with her so like wow. you're the one I then she started doing the dance and i was like oh my gosh you did great though you no, were I, was, amazing. I started to cry i couldn't believe it yeah. i go oh my gosh well i was crying watching it did it was, you it was very moving did you ever meet her i did yeah did. i yeah years ago i did a production of the boy from oz uh, an australian musical oh, yeah another australian icon peter peter allen and I got to sing I Honestly Love You, which is the song that Olivia made famous. And she came to the show one night. So I was, you know, terrified. And she came back uh, after the show and was, you know, just gorgeous and gracious She's and kind. She's unbelievable. <laughs> like, stunningly gorgeous. Yeah. Stunningly, like, amazingly talented and, like, just everything. I just, ah. Uh. She was just, you know, a, a, a real kind of good person so compassionate and kind and just radiated that yeah. in everything she did she's i mean she's iconic in australia and beyond i guess but for us she's yeah. has a very special place uh, in our heart thanks uh, for bringing that up because i love that clip uh, that we did with her it was amazing yeah, yeah. uh when you did uh when you did that play with with hugh did, did you ever think of like oh yeah i've done play enough plays where i go like i deserve to be on this giant broadway production this is a big deal now or do you go like you go back to those days where like i was playing a tree in a play and... But did someone tell you that? I actually was playing, not a tree, but a hedge. Wow, yeah. hey, that's... Yeah. Uh, no, they did not, I did not hear that. We all know you from your hedge work, yes. Right. We did a, I yeah. thought you were a tree. That's what you were clapping for, right? Yes, yeah. oh, with a hedge. <laughs> when did you play a hedge? Many years ago, Jimmy, when I first moved to New York, I was an extra at the Met Opera. Wow, and, that's a um, big deal. It was, actually, yeah, it was, uh, it was fantastic. I got to go out on that incredible stage but dressed as a hedge, so, um, you know, Wait, no at, one was seeing me, but I was seeing them through the leaves. At um, the Met Opera? At the Met Opera. I was thinking, like, this is like a childhood, if, if, if you're going back to that, but you actually made it to, that's big time. Yeah, I was a grown man when I was doing it. <laughs> I know it sounds childlike, but... <laughs> wow, so uh, the hedge, did the hedge move? Yes, I was one of six, um, and we were, I think it was Cosi Fantuti or something like that, something that had a garden scene, obviously, yeah. and we were, you know, we were choreographed, and we had to, like, sway to the music, and, you know. That's Congratulations, I didn't even know. I did not know that, I just assumed yeah. every actor plays a tree, or... It's not on my resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, here you go from there to uh, Emmy nominee. Man, you crushed it with the White Lotus. Thank crushed you. it. Thank you. I mean... That was honestly, uh, I could not wait. Every time you were on screen, I go, and what a cast. Everyone was Amazing. great. Yeah. Everyone was great. Everyone was knocked out of the park. It's one of those shows that is a true ensemble, right? Like everybody yeah. gets their moment to shine and everybody just kind of rose to the occasion in such a beautiful but way. Man, oh man. I mean, I, I, I was like, oh, you, you were just knocking the cover off the ball. No. Home run after home run. Every episode, I'm like, <laughs> I can't wait to see what trouble you get into. Your character is so good, <laughs> so uh, rascally, so funny, and just you just nailed it all the way what an arc and the whole way the whole if you haven't seen it please do yourself a favor and watch the white lotus and watch Mary. but it was just brilliant and this was all done like during the pandemic right the yeah end? yeah early on so there was very little contact uh in the beginning um we just you know sent in self-tapes and then um you know we found out we got the job and then we were whisked out of our uh covid caves and and taken to hawaii but i mean mike white kind of wrote it and filmed it like at the, like in like two months or three months. Yeah, he wrote those. I mean, they were incredible scripts, and they barely changed as we you know started working on the show because they were so tight. And he wrote them in two months, and and you know then we we started shooting, shot it in four months, and it was it was all over. Uh, I also so. want to mention you're in season two of uh, Physical I am. Uh, on yeah, yeah. Uh, Apple TV Plus. Yeah. Rose Byrne, we love. Oh my God, she's I love such a legend. Oh, she is fantastic and a wonderful person. You play, uh, you play Vinnie Green. I do. You are a uh, well. This is you in action. Um, yeah. What? <laughs> Look how, at those knees. Yeah. How would you describe those knees? How would you describe your character? 
Who, um, is it based on anyone? Is it? I mean, it's sort of loosely based on Richard Simmons and those kind of fitness sort of gurus of the time. Yeah. Um, sort of leaning into the fitness guru, guru that then kind of took a real sort of personal touch and really connects with his audience in a very personal way, like like Richard Simmons did. You know, it's so funny because you watch it and you're like, wow, these people are really energetic. Re yeah, over the top. Just say it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really over the top. And you're like, oh, wow, this is such a great character. But you realize if you grew up, this is actually how everyone acted. Well, that was... Like, you got to blah, blah, blah. You got yeah. to pump it on down. And you go, wow, this is, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted just by you talking. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. We, I mean, when I got the scripts, they, you know, it, it, it reads on the page is very over the top. Some of the stuff we did, like an infomercial and, you know, my first... Um, uh, uh, aerobics class that I had to take was to Proud Mary, this very kind of, you know, upbeat number, and it's all sort of such high energy. But then you go back and watch these videos of people like Richard Simmons, and it is kind of crazy in a great way. I mean, but yeah. it's so over the top. But it's so, real. Yeah, 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 it's real. You're very good in that. And Thank uh, you. I, again, once again, congratulations on The White Lotus. Man, oh man. Please come back. I'm I'd a giant fan. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Murray Bartlett in The White Lotus. Take a look at this. I don't want a free massage. I don't want cheap champagne. What I want is to speak to your boss. Well, I am the resort manager. Yeah, but you have a boss. Who is your boss? Our general manager, Mr. Zioli, is at a conference this week. Yeah, I want to get in touch with him. Can I have his number? I'll have him call you. No, no, I'm calling him. I will have someone bring you his business card with his cell phone number to your room, and you can call him at your leisure. Good. This morning, please. That is how you do it! Right there, Murray Bartlett! <laughs> Home run. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. The White Lotus is streaming now on HBO Max. Check out season two of Physical on Apple TV+. Plus. Demi Lovato performs after the break. Stick around. Hey.